Of course, we, <laughs> well, most people by now know that today was April Fool's yes. Day. <laughs> and as the holiday comes to an end, we wondered what kind of prank Suitlanders pulled off or maybe that they were on the receiving end of. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't pranked this year, at least not that I know of yet. But KCAU 9's Hannah Adamson did spend her day out and about in Sioux City, and she has the latest. Hannah? Tim and Sophie, dozens I spoke with actually didn't have plans this year. And with how this past year went, who can really blame them? Now, there were a few I spoke with who were crafting the perfect prank, but even they had a clear message for fellow pranksters. You know, having a day where you can just kind of uh, do a prank or, you know, just have some kind of humor in, in your life is good. I think it's a very fun day, actually. So, I'm going to be pranking my mom. I'm actually in the process of pranking one of my, my roommate, actually. I'm usually on the receiving end. Uh, so, I'm going to grab a random sponge and then I'm going to put frosting all over it. I was going to um, flip his uh, whole bed. Upside down. And then attempt to put, make it look very fancy so my mom will eat it. Just joking around with it. <laughs> so when she's going to eat it, she's going to she's gonna be like, why does it taste like that? And I'm going to be like, hmm, maybe because it's a sponge. I've had it, some be put on me back when I was younger in school, but none that I can't really remember. But there are some things that are... Uh, some, th some issues that do, such as, you know, some people will say that they're pregnant and they're really not. When a prank starts getting personal to somebody, it gets a little too far. I would say, I think if you yourself could do it on, on yourself and it wouldn't be hurtful, I think that would be, um, would be great. Make sure you know the person, make sure they're, you're not taking it too far on them. Make sure it's not, it's all in good fun, nothing too serious. And then test it first and then you know how to do it. Okay. I love the fact that you're wearing a suit. I know. <laughs> And in case you missed it, a few large-scale pranks of the day. Volkswagen under fire for stating it would rebrand to Voltswagen. And Velveeta announcing its own skincare line. Again, all pranks. Happy April Fool's Day, Siouxland. Tim and Sophie, back to you. Those are pretty good. <laughs> There's still a couple hours left. Your prank could still be coming. Uh-oh. <laughs>